Hey Libra, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Um, this is going to be for the next six months, um, but bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? All right, let's get this party started. So first up, hold your vision. Hold your vision, Libra. Next one, be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. And third up is nothing is yet set in stone. Nothing is yet set in stone. Hold your vision. Be bold and make the first move. Nothing is yet set in stone. All right. All right. So to clarify, oops, nope, not, not, yeah, this will work. So for June, um, the focus <clears throat> is on the Four of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Hold your vision. Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Three of Cups. You're losing focus. You're losing focus and comfortable in losing the focus. And you have support to lean on, internal support to lean on. But yeah, it's like focusing so much and everything is kind of kind of closing in. Yeah. Wake up. Focus. You've got your celebrations to make. And be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. Clarified by strength, four of wands and eight of wands. Oh, we got lots of fours here. We got three of the fours out. Okay. So you're... Yeah, stability is definitely going to be the focus. Like, I can see that. I can see that. Um, and then with the Eight of Wands. It's like trying not to get overwhelmed with all of the activity. Yeah, there's, and you know, Libra balance, but even outside of that, like, there's a lot, lots of downloads, downloads, messages, conversations, it's news, there's news, and It's a lot. Ah, that's why you need to hold your vision because there's a lot of information. And you're worried about dismissing something important. So you stay still and absorb it all. Okay. All right. I see that. Nothing is yet set in stone. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, you, you can either choose to work with the wheel or work opposing the wheel. But when you make a choice, you better mean it. When you make that choice, you better mean it. Yep. Also, clean and clear out, pare down in June. July, get ready for lots of information. 
because in August you're going to have a choice to make. September, you've got the Hermit, Four of Cups, and the Page of Wands. The Hermit, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Four of Cups again. Hermit, Four of Swords. I could, I could see that. I could see those coinciding. And then with the jubilant nature of the Three of Cups needing that or tying in that Page of Wands energy, that makes a lot of sense. But these three on their own, I'm trying to keep a tight lid on your passion. Keeping a tight lid on it, almost, almost chastising it for being so potent, wanting to put it out and make it palatable. Yeah, there's no need for that. There's no need for that. It's time to stretch your legs. Um, this is. Hold on. Hold up, spirit. Hold up. Hold up. Let's do that again. Okay? At, you know what? If it comes out again, it comes out again. But let's let's do that again. Um Okay. Clarify, hold your vision, please. All right, so the Knight of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Magician. Yeah, it's still about, you know, tempering, tempering one's, uh, passion or emotion with uh, the Knight of Cups that's <sighs> always akin to like a teenage love and with the Five of Swords it's like cutting it down it's almost like when a teenager beats themselves up for feeling something, you know, God, why can't you just be normal? Yeah, that kind of thing. But with the magician here, it's like uh, normal is what I want it to be. Normal is what I make it. This, like, yeah, hold. It. Okay, I see it. I see it. So this vision that the Knight of Cups has is going to come up against lots of opposition with the Five of Swords, but you have the Magician energy, which means that you are able to make your vision a reality. You have the keys to make your vision a reality. Be bold and make the first move with the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Two of Cups. There's some, there's some long-term happiness on the way. Because it's a part of your vision. I hear it. It's a part of my vision. Long-term happiness is the vision. And it encompasses a bunch of stuff that I'm not really talking about with the King of Cups. But love is in the love is in the picture. And it's like and it's and this looks fresh. Fresh. Mm, B 
be bold and make the first move, huh? Okay. And you've got the Page of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. For nothing is yet set in stone. Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Seven of Swords. While you're holding your vision, remember to make room for better. Remember to make room for better. Know that spirit always wants better for us, wants the best for us. And if you look here, See the turtle? Like that's that solid foundation on which this emotion is built. And it's in a good, you're in a good position. You can see everything on all sides. And defend it on all sides. So to sum up, June is about moving from the quiet, subdued, self-sabotaging into um, recognizing what's, what's to be celebrated. July, this is major information coming in and being able to separate the wheat from the shaft. August, because you'll have a choice to make as to whether or not you're going to go with spirit or fight upstream your call. Because your, your world is gonna be what you say it is. You have some new love coming in in, in s October and in November, be the talk of the town, oh, be the talk of the town. Okay. All right, Libra, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. I will see you all next time. Bye, Libra.